What is hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is a term used to describe the skidding, sliding, or slipping of car tires across a wet surface. This condition occurs when a tire encounters more water than it can strew. The water pressure in the front wheel shoves water under the tire, causing the tire to be separated from the road surface by a thin film of water. This action makes it lose traction or grip resulting in loss of steering, power control, and braking. What does hydroplaning mean in driving? Before we dive in quickly click on the subscribe button, like and share we'll be back after the break. Hydroplaning in driving is the point when your tires lose contact with the surface, it is riding on due to wet and slippery surfaces. That means water has separated the tires from the ground. Generally, rubber tires are designed with tread, to help channel water from underneath the tire. When does hydroplaning occur? Hydroplaning normally occurs on any wet road surface, but the most treacherous time hydroplaning can occur is, the first 10 minutes of light rain. This is because light rain mixes with oil residue on the road surface, creating slippery conditions that can cause vehicles, particularly those traveling at high speeds to hydroplane. This can be a deadly situation, not only for the driver but for other motorists driving nearby. How to prevent hydroplaning? Hydroplaning collisions are not totally avoidable. Hydroplaning is difficult to control or stop once it has begun. However, there are some driving practices that will prevent your car from hydroplaning altogether. Observe the following prevention tips. Turn the wheel gently in situations where steering is necessary. Ease off of the vehicle's accelerator slowly to help regain traction. Stay off of the brake, use it only when it is essential, and do so very slowly. Steer the vehicle in the same direction of the skid when the rear wheels begin to skid. Always drive slowly in adversative weather conditions, particularly during heavy rains. Ensure that you keep all tires properly inflated and they have adequate tire pressure. Avoid using cruise control on wet roads. Buy new tires when the tread begins to wear, always rotate and replace tires when necessary. Slow down when roads are wet because your tires may find it more difficult to scatter the water if you drive faster. Avoid puddles and standing water when driving in wet conditions. Avoid driving in outer lanes because the water tends to accumulate more in these areas. If possible, drive in the tire tracks left by the cars in front of you. Drive in a lower gear. Avoid hard braking. Turn off cruise control. Avoid making sharp or quick turns. What to do if you hydroplane? The imperative thing to remember is never to panic when your car hydroplanes. Avoid applying the brake or accelerating suddenly. Hydroplaning is a loss of traction to the front tires, therefore sudden braking slows the front tires but locks the rear tires. This can result in a spin-out. Accelerating suddenly can also pull the vehicle straight ahead, which could be risky if the vehicle is pointed toward the edge of the road. Does hydroplaning damage your car? How does it do that? Hydroplaning can cause major damage to the engine of your car. Driving through puddles, particularly ones that are more than a few inches deep may cause damage to the car's engine. When rain keeps on pouring, the risk of flooding is rife and more puddles keep appearing on the roads, this can increase the risks of hydroplaning related accidents on roads. Apparently, motors such as 4x4s, are better fortified to tackle puddles on roads, but not smaller cars. Does insurance cover hydroplaning accidents? If you are in an accident with another vehicle, your collision coverage on your car insurance covers you from a loss. This insurance could help if you unfortunately smash another vehicle or someone else smashes your car. Your insurance can also cover hydroplaning accidents. Note, when driving in the rain, you should avoid using cruise control. This because if your car is set on cruise control, it can cause your vehicle to accelerate when you encounter a deep puddle. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, and share for more videos.